So sleep at its core is a veterinary diagnostic tool used for precision diagnostics in a clinical setting. But now we want to introduce a new version of the tool that is a gait monitoring version. And we're doing this for three reasons. First of all, to detect lameness at an earlier stage. Secondly, to enable better quality in the referrals between veterinarians and physiotherapists, for example, uh, and also to be able to establish an individual baseline for each horse to be able to know the gait pattern of each individual to a much higher extent. As a veterinarian working with lameness, we often see horses uh, too late in the disease process. And that means they often have chronic issues when they come to us. And a lot of the tissues uh, that are being injured in sport horses are tissues that actually will never regain their original function when, once they have uh, more severe injuries. So that means we really need to make sure that we see horses at a much earlier stage in the orthopedic disease process. So what we want to do is to make this tool available to different professionals within the equine industry that can help to um, you know detect disease using the tool and that could be for example a physiotherapist a chiropractor a professional trainer or someone who has a riding school so that they can use uh, this tool in their home environment to monitor each horse so today when a veterinarian would refer a horse to a physiotherapist or the other way around, a physiotherapist to a veterinarian, we often suffer from um, well, sort of the, the lack of precision in how we tell each other what the problem is with the horse. And sometimes we see, sort of even mistrust each other because it's so difficult to describe exact, exactly what you see in the gait pattern of a horse. And using uh, this gait monitoring version, we really hope that we can make these referrals um, much more high quality by using the objective data, but also the video analysis that you can send to a veterinarian or a physiotherapist to, to sort of create a language that is objective and very clear in between us. So we know that asymmetries are very common in the sport horse populations. And one of the tricky things when you can measure with very high precision is to know which of these asymmetries that are relevant and that are maybe early signs of a disease process where we need to send the horse to a vet. So by monitoring an individual horse over time, we learn so much more. So we know if a low degree asymmetry um, then would be worsened by an intense workload, for example, that's for sure a horse you need to send to a vet. Or if it is a horse that has a low degree asymmetry that doesn't change with uh, the workload increase or that doesn't change over time, then we can be quite comfortable that this is a horse that has this type of sort of fingerprint gait pattern and maybe you don't need to interfere with that horse specifically. So this could help with the early disease detection because we would know then which of these asymmetries that are the more sort of dangerous ones, the ones that would be a sign of disease, because we could see how that individual would change over time. And if it changes for the worst, or if you have that sort of uh, gut feeling as a rider or a trainer that this horse is sort of resisting work a little bit, um, isn't really itself in training or during a race, for example, then this tool can help you to uh, really establish if the horse also has a, a gait asymmetry that might indicate that it needs to go see a vet. Yeah, so one of the very positive things that we can do with this tool is that we can take that gut feeling and transform it into actual numbers and something objective. So you can send the data to your veterinarian, uh, both the gait data but also the videos, so that you can you know, objectify a little bit the gait feeling, gut feeling that you might have that the horse is not doing well.